Do you believe in soulmates? Call us right now, 800-682-1075. A huge survey just came out from AOL Living and Women's Day. I mean, 30, 40,000 women across the country. And one, most of them, more than half, said they regret marrying their husbands. And most of them, mm-hmm. over half, said they're definitely not married to their soulmate. So that's Ooh. nice. 800. <laughs> <laughs> and they published that in well, Women's Day? Uh, my yes. gosh. That's I mean, nuts. Uh, is it as harsh as you're saying, or is it like at times they have thought that they weren't married to the right person? Don't because know. I think a lot of couples have, th- have thought that or have gone through ups and downs. Yeah, I mean, they were just asking, like, like currently where you are in your marriage, how do you feel about this, 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 and this? Uh-huh. And then people answered and I, I, anonymously, I believe, so they can have more honest answers. And over 50% said they're not married to soulmates, and 72% of women said they considered leaving their marriage at some point. Wow. Of some filing point, for yeah. divorce. Oh. Yeah. I think that happens for sure. I think I think uh, it's probably not publicly broadcasted, but uh, I think a lot of both men and women have thought at one point, I can't be in this marriage anymore. And that's sure. part of the getting through the downs, you know what I'm saying? In both of my marriages, mm-hmm. and I was, I had contacted attorneys before, ever divorce filed mm-hmm. by Heather or Kelly, I had contacted attorneys and was going to do it. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? No, mm-hmm. you know, and we have kids and let's like, what can we do to make it work? And so then I just dropped it and I never said anything about it, but I just, so I wonder what it would be for men. Yeah. Who you know, like I know we're talking about women here, but I wonder what it is I for men. I think it's lower because it's uh, lower. women are typically are the one that m- most of the time they initiate the divorce. Eighty percent of all new divorces are initiated by women. And so, but that's interesting because in your case, you did it. You wanted I, to do it first. But he didn't I wanted do it, to, but I didn't do yeah, it. Didn't but do you it. did because you well you contacted the I lawyer. I contacted, but I never sent anything, and then I, yeah. I just I t- contacted them back and said, "Never mind. I'm mm-hmm. I want to make sure this works." It just. And I think a lot of it was because I was just like, I don't think they're, I don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. here, but uh, just more to protect myself. But then I thought about the kid. I was like, no, I can't do this to the kids. It's not fair. You know, so. Yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know. I do not feel that way. No, I, yeah. I don't. Well, there's, I, you know, if yeah. it's 55% mm-hmm. that don't, you know, that they regret marrying their husband, there's 45% that are somewhat yeah. happy with it. With that are, I mean, and look, I think it depends on the day. Everybody has off days, sure. you know, and if you're asking me on an off day, is everything peachy keen? I'll probably skew negative. But overall, if I'm if I'm answering the question, I would say, yes, I'm happy to with the man that I married. I'm, you know, and I do believe in soulmates. I've always believed and in soulmates. And if he's not happy with you, boy, he has a rude awakening. Well, that's what I tell him. <laughs> that's what I say. Yeah. Tell him to call yeah. That's what if I say. If he ever has a question about you, tell him to call me. I'm like, Ben, you <laughs> just don't even know. Tell him to call me, <laughs> and then to call Jason, <laughs> then to call Squid, and then call Matt, and any other guy that's dealt with any, really any other woman that, you know, makes their life a little more difficult. I think <laughs> the less my husband is involved in this show, the better. It's true. I, I'm actually saying <laughs> yeah. see that. I'm, yeah, I can see that. I, yeah. Probably so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. It's, it's just for the best. I'm just saying. You go to I work would, and do what you do. I'll I would go to work vouch and do what I do. For you I think there's things. other variables we're not considering. I mean, Katie did marry up probably. So there's back, back <laughs> okay, listen, forth. We're, we're not married. But <laughs> if I had to answer the survey, I'd be like, I am not happy with the man I married. <laughs> yeah. If you and I were. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, I didn't no say problem. that. I was giving you a compliment, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. In what point did you say I Katie think, married up? I think compliment. anybody would rather say yes, I married up than no, oh, yeah, I married. Yeah, down. but what you're yeah. saying is he got the uh, the crap end of the stick, is what you're saying. No, that is I think, that is how I think that you translates. make up for it for your, <laughs> you know, the golfing and this and that. But not right now, you're not making up for it. You're I'm going the other way. For being the mm-hmm. crap end of the stick by no. allowing him to go golf to do what he wants. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> what a huge compliment. Okay. And by the way, yeah. I don't. Allow him. He's a grown ass man. You are allowing him. Though. No, we're not There's really. There's a lot of pressure. It's not. And listen, and you can put pressure on people. You can, but I don't. But I don't choose Which to do great. that. Which is great. That's Be- what I'm saying. He is a grown adult. I hope adult. he understands how fortunate he is in many ways with you. Yeah. But including the fact that you allow him to pursue his passions as he does with you. Listen, if you think that's that a healthy I'm in re- charge of anything, and, you're and wrong not like about Katie that. Who sits at home all day. No. I mean, you do a lot. Yes. I know you do a lot at home, but. But no, I mean, but we do. He's a good guy. It's, I'll tell you what it boils down to. They're going to pay for those pans. <laughs> <laughs> we've already, we've already had the pans. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I think that the what it boils down to, this is truly what I, it boils, is respect. It is respect. And realizing that they are, the, the person that you married is a human being. Right. You are not their mother. They are not your father. You are married and you are a couple and you're a team and you have to respect each other. 
the minute that that goes out, it's done. Yeah, 100%. Because you don't get it back. I don't think you get it back. I think you can. I think you can. I, I think, well, it depends. Maybe. Depends. I mean, if mm-hmm. there's like cheating or if there's, you know, some terrible, horrible things. Even that, I think things could be overcome. But uh, It's uh, also a state of mind, though, you know, because yeah. they always say, what, what is it they say about women who, um, it's like that women, when they're done, they're done. You know, they've, yes. they've mm-hmm. decided. And it's because I think their chances are given and given and given. And you try and you try to make it better. And then when you feel like you're at the end, you're just done. So I, I worry that once the respect is gone and you allow yourself to start thinking that way, that there's no coming back from it. Yeah, maybe so. I, mean, I, I really think do. I don't think it's good to be negative. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's good to go down that road because, yeah, I had a divorce attorney that's been doing it for 40 years that lives here. Mm-hmm. And he said... They, 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 that's what he's seen. When women yeah, are done, they're, they're done. done. And men are more able to like, even if they're the ones that have, or maybe they have a, maybe a probably like a bad partner, mm-hmm. they're more able to be willing to make it work for what, I don't know why. I don't, for know, why. Reason, I don't know if it's the emotions that are involved. I don't know. There's probably a million different reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, and every situation is so different. That's crazy. But then I did hear this, a lady on TikTok and she's a lesbian mm-hmm. and she um, must have got married and she got divorced. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me, but she goes, she goes, this is what she said. She said the divorce rate with lesbian marriages is now 80%. Wow. And she said 80% of all heterosexual divorces are caused or are, are initiated by women. She's like, I think I'm, I've located the problem. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me laugh because it's like a lesbian lady saying it. Right. You know? Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, all right. Do you yeah. believe in soulmates? That's what we're talking about. Believe mm-hmm. it or not. 800 1075 Frank, do you believe in soulmates? Yes, sir. And are you currently married to your soulmate? Yes, sir. I've been married for 18 years. Congratulations. Been yeah. everywhere. And so you don't think you've been you... everywhere from homeless to we got a 440 acre farm and a business and two jobs. Did you say you've been homeless together? Stayed with me through it all. Is... 18 years. Yeah, we've been homeless. It was four kids. Wow. Wow. And, and now, now you're you... on a 400 acre farm? I run a 400 acre farm. Yeah. Wow. Then I. So I farm, and then I work another job, teach school. So we've been up and down through it all. So, and that's it too. Right? Somebody you can see yourself getting old with, mm-hmm. and you don't mind wiping the rear end. So. True yeah. that. Oh, I, I do mind that, but no, um, people don't think about that. You don't think you think it's just going to be rosy and gray. <laughs> yes, and, yeah, exactly. Until you, somebody gets Thank sick you, or something happens yes. or a parent gets sick or, or it's not fun anymore. Or it's just yes, the day and or you're wiping kids' butts twenty four hours a day, yeah, I seven think days yeah. a week. Soulmate, though, uh, <clears throat> like he said, I mean. A soulmate, I mean, he's been homeless together. A soulmate would be like, oh, well, that, the new wife is rich. I don't have to be homeless. But a soulmate <laughs> to me is uh, um, a stretch. I think that. You don't um, think they exist? In fact, I think it actually, thinking that way, actually hurts a lot of relationships and marriages and whatnot. Because um, when you say soulmate, it's like, oh, that's the only one. That's the p- person I was supposed to be with. And the world's huge, but yet our soulmate's always kind of within our vicinity most of the time. It's not in Japan. It's not in China. I mean, it could be, but we're never going to know that. Mm-hmm. But we're saying, so to me, it, if on the outside looking at it, is then we would have hundreds of soulmates, which wouldn't make sense. And when you go into the, a relationship thinking soulmate, because there are these feelings that it's hard to explain, mm-hmm. especially at first, and it's not a fairy tale. And if you think soulmates is just like, oh, we're soulmates, so it, it, it's a letdown when the reality kicks in in a couple of years. If you go in where you're very compatible, a lot of interest, you can see yourself getting old with somebody, knowing, though, there's going to be problems. Mm-hmm. It might be more effective. I know that a lot of people want to believe in the soulmate thing, and I get, I hear what you're saying. I think uh, my view has changed over the years for obvious reasons. wonder why, Jared. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no actually, like, even in our church, we believe in, like, of course, spiritual, and, mm-hmm. and we believe people do come together for certain reasons, and God's very heavily involved in your life. You know, if you allow it or whatever, and he's a fair, fully aware of everything that goes on and wants, you know. But our, we've had church leaders say that, say that any two good people that are willing to work at a marriage can have a very happy and successful marriage because the concern was they felt, I guess they had some feedback where, like, there was women who weren't getting married because they're waiting for their soulmate mm. and everything to be perfect, and mm-hmm. they just weren't getting married. Mm-hmm. They said, no, 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 don't not, don't. That might be the case. Do I think there are some people who are soulmates? One thousand percent. Like the whole world had to change to even bring them together. Like mm-hmm. my parents, one thousand percent. Yes, one thousand percent. Soulmates. It's just, and they were there. 
but it's also work. It's not because you're soulmates, then it's just easy. Mm-hmm. But the, I mean, the, just the fact that they even met is like nearly impossible. All these things mm-hmm. had to change and things changed at the last second just for them to have that chance encounter. And then they made it work. They didn't just give up after things got difficult or mm-hmm. hard or challenges. But their story to me is remarkable. Maybe I can share it sometime. But yeah. I think that that is, is key right there because it's very easy, Jason, when you were saying about how like it's, you know, maybe they're in China, maybe what, maybe they're whatever. We're never going to know. Well, I think that it's all that's all a part of the path that right. you are meant to be on. And not everybody lives or is born and lives and grows up in the same place and then marries the boy across the street. I mean, you, there's people moving every single moment of every single day across the country, across the world for jobs, for work, for family, for what, for whatever reason. And I think that it's that's all a part of your plan. And that is how you find it. Now, I also don't think that soulmate just means one. I think that you can find a soulmate in a friend that you've met and you felt yeah. like you've known them forever ever you know or that isn't you, that what is it? i mean I other know. people I, I know listeners probably think that that i'm wrong but isn't soul mean one really i no, i think that your souls are connected that you're oh, okay. somehow some way i think a lot of people a kindred assume, spirit yeah, or, like a yeah, kindred yeah. spirit maybe there's just different wording for those things well and i but, think we definitely you can even i think date people that and maybe it doesn't work out that mm-hmm. you just have this you're just drawn to, not i'm not talking about like Anything other than like you can't explain your connection. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just can't explain. You just it. have it. You just have it, and then you don't have that with other people. And even if the thing is not good for you, mm-hmm. you still have it. Well, because what happens is that people confuse a soulmate with sexual chemistry. Now you can have sexual chemistry with lots of people, mm-hmm. well, and be like, man, true. it was nothing. Like we, n- I've never felt this way about anybody. <laughs> but they're a piece of crap. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you still have the sexual chemistry with somebody, and mm-hmm. you confuse it. I- I'm sure that happens all the time. I think it happens way I think, more. I think it happens a lot. But yes. I also do think people do feel connected to certain people, and they can't explain it. Mm-hmm. Like they can't. Yeah. It's more than that. It's just like. And even, I think you're right with friends. There's some friends, yep. like, you meet them, and you're like, have I known you my whole life? I feel like I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Do you believe in soul? I know people are busy. Do you believe in soulmates? Holly, do you believe in soulmates, yes or no? 100% yes. And are you married to your soulmate? Yeah. So we've been married for almost 20 years. Where'd you find him? Uh, we met at church. Mm-hmm. He liked me soulmate. when he was 11 and I was 12, um, but I didn't like him until he was about 14. Yeah, playing wow. hard to get. Do you I ever get it. Uh, <laughs> wonder what it would be like to be with somebody else? Does that ever cross your mind? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, and we've been through some stuff together. You know, we've almost gotten divorced before and stuff like that. Yeah, but we have three kids, and you know, God worked it out, and, and all three kids we both are, are committed are, to each other. Are all three kids his? Yes. Yes, hundred percent. Okay. I mean, you've only been with him, yep. correct? Correct. Yeah. Since she was 14. Wow. Correct. Man. That's pretty much the definition of soulmate. Yeah, we got yeah. married at 18 and 19. But, like, I can never imagine my life with anybody else. And, you know, if anything happened to him, I just don't know, you know, each other, like, what we would do. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way we could, like, hardly live without each other. Well, I think if I look Thank at you. the definition of a soulmate, then I understand it more. I was always under the assumption that a soulmate for somebody else meant the one person. I did, but too. according to this, it's just a person whom has a deep feeling or natural affinity. So there could be multiple soulmates mm-hmm. then, if that's the case. If that's the case, yes. If you're talking about the only one person in the entire universe, I have an issue with that mm-hmm. a little bit. And I do I, think that's, Jason, I do think it's how most people take it, though. Yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah. You tell somebody you're your soulmate, they're yeah. not thinking like, oh, am I, am I one of ten? How yeah. many soulmates have you already had? <laughs> they're thinking, right. it's just me. Only yeah. Yeah. That's what yes. I thought, yeah. but when you read the definition, it doesn't appear to be like that. It's just a, a deep, huge connection. It's above and beyond most. But, you know, and then I then I say, OK, then soulmates, I, I believe in it more. But, well, when, but you, I, when you look at it as just the soul one person. Yeah, mm-mm. I don't think it's just the one. And also, I don't have that many soulmates. You know, like I think you can't just be tossing that term around it's like either. Ben, me. No. Nope. Uh, Mary. That's Squid. just chemistry. Squid. That's just chemistry. <laughs> Not sexual chemistry. No. Just chemistry. Calm down, Katie. I'm yeah. a single man. Yeah. Yeah. I had to <laughs> clarify. No, but no. I mean, that's a, then that's a different category, too. Or be you just vibe with certain people because mm-hmm. you, you can and that's just how it, how it goes. Um, we could invite a stranger in here and yes, hope that hope for the best, but they either do or they don't. That's so true. And mm-hmm. you, do, you can't. I don't think you can craft that. 
No. You know, you can't, and the same- no, like people ask us or people that I've talked to, they're like, oh, I love your show. I love your show. You guys have such great chemistry. Like, how long did it take? I like, it was instant. Yep. You, you can't either do make- or you don't. Now, you can get better with content. You can get better sure. strategically. But if you don't have chemistry, mm-hmm. forget it. And that's Please, a, mm-hmm. the same way with friends, too. Yes. You know, it's like, I love everything about you. You're a great friend. Are you like my kindred spirit soulmate? Yeah. I have. I don't have all that many right. of those. Right. You know, so I don't, you don't just toss that around. On the show, but. who's closest to being your soulmate as a friend? <laughs> You know, I was making a competition. I mean, <laughs> Squid. No, <laughs> it's impossible. You don't even know him. He. I don't know. I vibe with Squid because I feel like we kind of have the same thoughts. Yeah. But then sometimes you make, the me, you make me real angry. Sometimes. Outside the station. So don't I'm talk like, about while we're know. here. <laughs> <laughs> like when we're sharing appetizers and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have great chemistry with you. With you all. Obviously, yeah. we wouldn't be here. I don't know. No, it's so yeah. true. Now, Jason Goodman, do you think your wife thinks you're her soulmate? Um, I think if it was just the one. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're well, the only I one. I think my, my wife's part of the survey that's probably regrets marrying me in the first place. <laughs> that's why I, I have not even passed that point. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> she's, I mean, I'm sure there's times where she's definitely regretted marrying me at times. That's why I was like, is this AOL survey? AOL is even around still, but. Um, in Women's Day. Women's, okay. Women's Day magazine. It, it's still like, pretty huge. Is, yeah. is the 50% of women regretting who they married, like, right now or throughout Throughout the time, they have had regrets, but then it's better again. You know, it's. it's I think the question was, do you regret the person you've married? Mm-hmm. Currently, I, like I, you currently regret the person you married, and they said yes. And I need to know, like, this is what I guess my problem with the surveys. I'm like, something bad going on right now. What's your state of mind when you're answering this question? Do you know it's that? That's the kind of thing that I wonder. I'm not surprised by this at all. Yeah, you're I mean, not not surprised at all. If 50 percent yeah. in a divorce anyway. Yeah, that's a that's an extreme thing to do is to get divorced. Extreme. It's a, I guess so that means there's what, a lot of people that just don't get but there, but what, they feel like they want to, but it's like, ah, it's too much. What should it's be too extreme is the fact that you get married in the first place. I agree. That should be the extreme. But the, the marriage yeah. is fun. Everyone said, like, the marriage is, or, the, or wedding day is fun. It's the marriage part that's hard. Yes. And then people don't think past that wedding day, or mm-hmm. they just think about the Disney films and or that's, rom-coms, and the next thing they know, they're like, what is this? And mm-hmm. that's the problem, believing in soulmates, and that's why I don't, because I think... That causes problems, and when people believe in soulmates, sometimes at the beginning, and it doesn't work out, then it's they thought, oh, well, then, then it's not. So it's it, oh, definitely my soulmate, and then as soon as you're divorced, oh, that, I found out it wasn't my soulmate. Of course, it, there's no definitive answer. That's why when people say they believe it or not, I'm just like, okay. That's so why I think you need to travel, and you need to move, and you need to meet lot, lots of people, and don't get married till you're at least 35, squid. Yeah. Seriously, right. I, I, ser- that's that is hands down what I believe. Thirty five, maybe okay. Thir- thirty, thirty. I think right. thirty, you got not a great handle on life, but you're that a way, little bit more than eighteen. That way, Squid, you can have like a thousand girls that you can compare Why to your wife. You don't have to sleep with them all, but if you want to, go for <laughs> it. Like Squid wouldn't. All right, Chris, you believe in soulmates or nah? I don't believe in soulmates, but I believe in connections. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's more gotta, of a... got to make it uh, make it together if it's going to happen. The only thing that's guaranteed in life is death and taxes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so, true. This show just keeps getting you more just depressing. Gave me I'll tell a you lot what. more anxiety now. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Just depression. And Josie depression, sent it. What me? Believe it or not. Depression. Josie sent this. And I was like, what's wrong with you, Josie? Uh, <laughs> Sal. Is this my boy, Sal? It's your boy, Sal. Toxic King. <laughs> I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> Do you believe in soulmates? Hi, Sal. <laughs> At, hey, Katie. Hey. Absolutely not. It was firing me up listening to it. Mm. I, look. There, that's the problem with this textbook stuff of soulmates and putting a word on it. You have to work at relationships. There's there's no perfect relationship. And if you keep it up, think, or they keep saying soulmates, everyone's going to think there's someone else out there that's just going to magically, some man that's going to pick up his clothes and do his laundry and do everyone's laundry. And it, I think Chris just said it. There's connections and then there's work, right? And it's respect. Katie, you said respect. Mm-hmm. It's it's a lot of ingredients that go in to make the whole entire thing work. And if you're not willing to work at it, you could be soulmates, you could be not soulmates. Do, are there different connections, relationships, better, worse? I, they, they put this in a textbook and they try to put a label on it, and that's what frustrates me. I feel and that's like, why the uh, system of marriage is broken. I feel like Sorry. I have a connection with Sal. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I believe what he's saying. Yeah. I mean, I, everything I've said, I mean... 
it just it's it, to me it sets you up for for fail, failure and because we want the fairy tale and we want all of that and life is not like that. Mm-hmm. And life is more it's of a horror, It's more, but more of a horror movie than a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take a step back, <laughs> if you take a step back and consider everything and get a different perspective on it, then I think things can last and you can uh, embrace the good things and um, you know capitalize on your relationship's best aspects. Then it's not work. Is they're not my soulmate? You know. Mm-hmm. It's like that type mm-hmm. of thing. All right, Sal. Uh, I think you and me are soulmates, though, don't you think? I, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't y'all just get me yes. out? Yes. Yeah. Get a house. You would, pro- you would probably. For tax purposes. <laughs> I'm not, We've talked about it. We have. We just, the way I mean, we combine our incomes. Yeah, that'd be you great. You would probably have <laughs> a longer lasting marriage with Sal. You probably would. Than your exes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put Sal's business out there. He needs to finish up some things so that we can legally yeah, get married. Yeah, he needs to Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> 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 I'm going to root for your love. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, just like. This just, one I support. Yes. Right. <laughs> it is right now. It, it, we'd be practicing bigamy, I think, if I got married. He's not quite. Well, that's finalized true. Yeah, everything, sure. So. All right, Sal. We have a lot of you are fired up about soulmates in, on both sides. Want to hear from both sides? Let's hear from some more women. Can we? Get, I, I would love to know. Are, sure. are we you... want realistic answers? Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're getting it from you. You are. Did you not hear it? <laughs> and you kind of nod your head a Excuse couple me, times. Do you remember when I started the entire conversation off with saying? Respect. Yeah, yeah. That's how. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> All right. You don't have it, mm. ladies. Do you believe in soulmates? Men as well, but ladies, do you believe in soulmates? Katie wants to hear from you. Yes or no? Let's go to. Uh, is it Adrian? Adrian. Adrian. Do you, be- <laughs> do you believe in soulmates or nah? I do not believe in soulmates. Wow. I do believe in a strong chemical attraction between two people um, that over time, as you start to communicate more and more with one another about your likes, your dislikes, your wants, and your needs, that's about the time when your souls start to intertwine and you kind of become a unit of one. That is a as ver- long as you Yes. Do- mm-hmm. I can see that, that too. That is a very powerful, some, uh, a recent, uh, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it's the love language guy. He said the same thing. True love is after that part. Uh, yes. That part. Mm-hmm. After the honeymoon period. That's when the true love comes in. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Peggy. Peggy, do you believe in soulmates? Yes, I do. And are you married to your soulmate? No, I'm not married. I'm single. <laughs> oh, okay. You're hoping for a soulmate. But, but, the, but the reason why is I didn't have sex for like 13 years I felt lost and unloved and when COVID hit I I got myself in shape I lost 60 pounds and I started talking to this guy in Nigeria and I know you think oh scammer scammer yeah but he wasn't a scammer he wasn't a scammer and I went there a year ago and stayed with him for a while and I came back and then I went this year and I stayed for 45 days, and I had sex for 45 days straight. <laughs> I, I still, believe, I still <laughs> believe he's a scammer. Wow. And I'm, hey, and I'm 71. Get it, girl. Wow. 71. Get it, girl. Wow. Yes. No, no chance of pregnancy. And you know what? And you know what? I wore him out. He couldn't hardly keep up with me. I think you're scamming <laughs> us right now. I love this No woman. 71-year-old had sex for 45 days She didn't straight. have it for 13 years. And called years. in right now with a boyfriend from Nigeria. And Come he, on. And he's only 29. Whoa. I mean, wow. So you got money, Peggy? He just had a... <laughs> He just had a birthday. He's you ready 30. to do another 45 but, days here? You have money. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. He is, he's actually going to come here. <laughs> but, um, you know, Nigerian men are just, oh, my God, they are great lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Peggy Bush. She's making up for lost time. Yes, she is. Yeah. Listen to the happiness in yeah. her voice. I guess I'm a cougar. I guess I'm a cougar, but... I, I mean, I guess that. I shouldn't be bragging. I no, shouldn't go ahead. be bragging, but I went so but I went so long without love and I felt like I just wanted to die at times. Mm-hmm. And then when COVID hit, I said, you know what? I'm gonna lose some weight. So I lost I got on the treadmill, I lost sixty pounds and I started feeling better about myself and people started telling me, Wow, you look so good and nobody believed I was seventy one. 
but you know what? It's all in how you feel. It's not the number. It's how you feel. And and he makes me feel alive. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he does. And I never felt like I never felt like that. And it's not just the sex. It's that he. I don't know. I just can't put. Is that he lives on another know, continent? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you can but, go home. You know, I was I, I was scared when I went there because. I didn't know what I was going. I mean, I talked to him for a year, but I was still scared. But you know, um, Nigeria is not as bad a place as everybody says it is, and there, it's not full of scammers. It's full of good people. It's just they live in a bad place. Mm-hmm. I got you. All right, thank but, you so much. Yeah, wow. she should shout it from the rooftops. Tell everybody. She is absolutely she just did. tell everybody. She's like, I don't know if I should. Yes, you should. Yeah, she doesn't sound seventy-one either. No, no it's she how you and how you feel. But I don't buy the whole Nigerian twenty-nine-year-old guy with the seventy-one-year-old woman. That seems odd to me. What? It is, of course, it's odd. I mean, yeah, a he's not the norm. Mean, what? Yeah. I don't see well, that. Yes, it's odd. That, like lots of things happen that are weird online. Twenty-nine no. and a seventy-one-year-old. Once, once homie gets to the states, he's he's gonna go MIA. Yeah. But I mean. But we'll for, now, for now, she's got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. For now, and she's got it. It yeah. made her feel good about herself. So what? What's the harm in that? Well, he's taking advantage of her. That would be one, but well, yeah, no, we don't be know that for sure. No, we don't. But it is odd for sure and a red flag that he's twenty nine and she's seventy one and she's flying to Nigeria. Well, yeah, that doesn't happen to everybody. But yeah. she's got to have money. I bet you. Or she's retired because she's going there for forty five days in a row. That yeah. too. I don't. Mm-hmm. We don't have that vacation. I don't. I don't know anyone has that vacation no. plan. <laughs> or the money to fly to Nigeria. Right. I, I don't it's think expensive. I could. Yes. Yeah. I lived in Not South right Africa now. two years, and the flight a long time no. ago was two thousand dollars round trip. All right, Renee, Megan, and Brittany all say yes, they believe in soulmates. All right, um, so and this is all based on a survey that now half of women say they don't believe in soulmates and they regret who they married. Good times. We ended on a high note. I was happy to hear from mm-hmm, her. Mm-hmm. This is according to Women's Day magazine, by the way. Huge survey.